It's called tipping and tapping. Touching ball. <laughs> Touching <laughs> ball. <laughs> Come boys, have a little uh, word with the referee and uh, get the frame going again. Sure, we can't be touching again. Touching ball. This is a record <laughs> for touching balls. <laughs> Touching, what's touching both balls, I think? Touching both, both threads. <laughs> both threads, yeah. The better. But. Has he got the vacuum coaches that Martin Gould has shown us so far this morning? His opponents made one. Kiss on the pink. Lovely. Another cracking pot. Now, come on, Martin. This will be one of the best centuries we've seen for a long while. Yeah. Shout four. This is tricky. Can he reach it? Does he need the spider? Mm -hmm. the play out. <laughs> well, you can reach it like that. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Yeah, that's right. Clean up after your mess. You can't beat them, stab them, that's the game. <laughs> Should have made his uh, tip a bit sharper, that would have got him. <laughs> what are you doing to me? You can't beat me, stab me. <laughs> so he's just making sure that uh, the referee is aware of that, should it be replaced. Well, he thinks he can get the edge. Listen, if he misses it, he'll hit the other one full in the face. Found. Hit the pink first. <laughs> now try and put those back six. together. <laughs> <laughs> Leanne Wembo looking at the referee. Is he going to give him some work to do? We'll join you again in about ten minutes' time. If he just catches that red, he's in off. He certainly didn't hold back there, John, did he? I thought he was going to play the soft stun shot. Well, wow. that's a strange shot. This is what he played. Just almost plays to miss Q. And referee Jan Verhaas was happy with the way he played it. Well. <laughs> to Trump four. See, see if, the, if any of those reds move, it's a foul shot. Uh, I have no idea what's playing here, Dennis. Oh. Probably be my choice. Blue ball. Oh, <laughs> 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 I don't know. I don't know. I 
85. <laughs> Get on. 85. And the friend. Trick shots. Not with that trick shot. Put in three balls at once. So Trump does level the match yeah, at one each. Thank you. After Mark's next shot, though, that's too thin. Oh, he's got a massive bounce off the ball cushion there. That was unbelievable. They're <laughs> both having a laugh about that. <laughs> that was incredible. <laughs> Great stuff from the lads. <laughs> Michael says he thought it was okay, just the normal natural bounce. Well, that was unbelievable. I've seen some big bounces before, but that was absolutely incredible. Did it it thin, but watch the way the cue ball explodes off the ball cushion here. That is unbelievable. Know the pink spot Four. and swung it around the table for the black, but still a tied the frame. I think he lost momentum there, Five. really. How? I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> he can <laughs> see it. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it in the frame the referee said, Paul. I know the more important thing is uh, Mark Williams has gone in front again now. It's seven frames to six. Couldn't let me know. Quite now, please. Yeah, yeah, and I, I'm certain Ray, from a few years, Ronnie just having a bit of excess skin. My mother used to do that in the cinema. Not with a, an implement, just... She kept nudging me. I say, Mum, stop it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Frame 11, Barry Hawkins to break. <laughs> just laughing. And I think with Barry, uh, Ken, it's okay, just the embarrassment, down, please, thank isn't you. it, of playing so well and everybody the expectation. Settle down, please, thank all you. All of a sudden now, he's just almost feeling embarrassed about the scoreline. This was the amazing shot we were talking about. Completely miss it the break, but obviously you see that second kiss, push the red towards the middle. And I'm almost 100% sure there's never been a century made off the break off here at the Crucible. <laughs> well, so close. Mark Williams sitting in his seat. There's an interval now, boys. Okay, Mark. Yes. Mark has conceded. Uh, have I got it wrong? I think there should be an interval now. Referee just setting them up, but uh, I think four frames, then you have a break, guys. Okay. <laughs> and I hope so. I've just put the kettle on. <laughs> Well, they walk out of the arena, it, uh, everybody's a bit bemused. The uh, still has kept that rest because if he takes it away and just catches the blue, it's a foul. <laughs> well, you can't leave it there, Alan. <laughs> that was a bit tricky. And, and look how close it is to the red as well. <laughs> Do you know, Stephen, the great Fred Davis, ten times world champion, if he did that, he would have left the rest there and expect the referee <laughs> to take it away. <laughs> He's he needs to get off to a good start today. Devastating Ding, one of the newspaper headlines this morning. Ding Junhui has won 11 ranking titles, but never this one. Never been to a World Championship final. Knocked out in the semi-finals by Judd Trump in an epic match in 2011. There he is, just doing a few stretches on the tournament office tables. But this year, Ding looks like he's ready and finally, finally able to reach a World Championship final. And who knows, possibly winning the title. It looks very relaxed. He's smiling this morning. The players are ready then. Let's say good morning to our MC, Rob Walker. He's going to have to play a cannon. 33. Bring a little cluster of six in the play. Uh -huh. Is the tip come off? 
You're kidding. You're kidding. Oh dear. We'll have to have a 10 minute break now. The worst thing in the world that can happen to a snooker player. That's about it. Oh, that's uh, Punk. <laughs>